In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a giant schnauzer. Giant schnauzers are large, strong dogs with natural guarding and territorial instincts. They can make great family dogs, but they may not be for everyone. And in this video, we have seven reasons why. But first, it's so important that your dog eats well. The best thing that they can be eating is raw meat. So if you want to go this route, we recommend We Feed Raw. They make it so easy. You fill out some info on your dog, pick your food, and it comes right to your door. Just thaw and serve. Just like that, you're giving your dog the absolute best food. This is natural and just what your dog needs to live a healthy life. Link is in the description. The first reason a giant schnauzer may not be best for you is because they are strong-willed. They have a ton of energy and intelligence, and there's no end to the jobs a giant schnauzer can perform. They have a big drive to get the job done and do what they need to do for the owner. So it'll be up to you to make sure that you can train this dog with calm, assertive energy that's firm and direct because this dog needs that direction. Otherwise, they'll take over, they'll be the leader, and then that's when problems happen. So if you want to own this dog, it should not be your first time dog. They're strong willed and they will do their own thing. So it's up to you to give them firm direction and be a strong leader. If you don't want to do this or can't do this, then a giant schnauzer just won't be good for you. The number two reason why a giant schnauzer may not be best for you is because they are big and strong. Not to get them confused with the miniature or standard schnauzer. They still look very similar. The harsh eyebrows and beard, as well as a keen intelligent expression. But the big difference with a giant schnauzer is they can be up to 100 pounds. They're very athletic, strong, and they can be 28 to 30 inches at the shoulder. So this dog as a puppy is cute and beautiful, but they get big and strong. So it may not be a good dog for you if you can't handle their strength going for walks, and it could get out of hand. So know that these dogs do look like a miniature and standard schnauzer, but they're much different because of their size, and it could be a bad problem for you and your family. Number three reason why a giant schnauzer may not be best for you is because of their exercise requirements. A giant schnauzer needs long walks, jogs, playtime, and learning about all the dog sports that they're good at. They're excellent at dog sports, they have a lot of agility, so they need to use this energy. This dog is excellent for active owners that like to do running, hiking, and swimming. So if you don't like this, you're not active, and you can't give this dog the exercise that it needs, then it won't be a good fit for you, and you should look to another dog. The number four reason why a giant schnauzer may not be best for you is because of their mental stimulation needs. This is a very smart dog. It's a working, herding dog that needs a job and needs to use their brain. So it'll be up to you as the owner to keep them busy, give them a job, and make sure that they're working their brain just as much as they work their bodies. If you don't want to do this, don't know how to do this, then a giant schnauzer won't be good for you because they're one of the smartest dog breeds and they need to use their brains. Because it's natural, it's what they've grown up doing since their ancestors and it's something they need to continue to do to live a happy, healthy life. Number five reason a giant schnauzer may not be best for you is because of their grooming requirements. Although the giant schnauzer doesn't shed a large amount of hair, they do need regular brushing. It's important to keep their head trimmed and those pronounced eyebrows and beard intact. His face can virtually disappear under a tangle of hair unless you keep it neatly trimmed. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you stay on top of this. So if you don't want to brush your dog almost weekly, sometimes daily, then a giant schnauzer just won't be best for you. There's other dogs that don't need as much grooming and you should look to those dog breeds. The number six reason why a giant schnauzer may not be best for you is because they need to be socialized. This is a big, strong, driven dog that sometimes doesn't realize their own strength and power. So it'll be up to you as the owner to get them socialized early. If you get this dog around other dogs, other people, cats, animals, they will be so much better off and you won't have to worry about this dog causing problems. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you socialize this dog because if you do, they'll be outstanding. If you don't, you could have problems that you don't want to deal with as an owner. So it's important to socialize giant schnauzers as best you can early and often. If you don't want to do this, then another dog breed would be best. The number seven reason why a giant schnauzer may not be best for you is because they get separation anxiety. If you're someone that's gone long periods of time, you take long trips, or you're gone for work, a giant schnauzer may not be best for you. They love being around their owner, and just like a lot of dogs, they don't like being left alone. 
The difference with a giant schnauzer, they're big, they're strong, they'll find their way out of a crate, they'll find their way out over time. So it's important you keep someone around to come visit them. Make sure they're not alone for long periods of time because they can get destructive, they can have high anxiety, and it's just not good for you or the family. But if you can be around this dog a lot, this is a great dog. They can do a lot of different things with you, love building that bond, and they are outstanding dogs. We hope you've enjoyed this video about the giant schnauzer, and we'll see all of you on the next one.